After no court proceedings yesterday due to an absent juror, the trial of Paul and Ruben Flores for the murder of Kristen Smart continued today. KSBY anchor Neely Bear has more from Salinas. After an alternate was sworn in to serve on Paul Flores' jury, a Cal Poly police detective in 1996 took the stand. He was one of the first law enforcement officials to interview Paul following the disappearance of Kristen Smart. Former Cal Poly Police Detective Lawrence Kennedy testified Wednesday he interviewed Paul Flores around 5 p.m. on Tuesday, May 28th of 1996. Audio of that interview was played in court. In the recording, Kennedy asked Paul how he got to the party on Friday, May 24th of 1996. Paul said he was planning to see his sister that lived off campus with her fiance at the time. But when he saw people having a party at a residence he had attended a party at a couple months prior, he went inside. Paul said he had been drinking in the dorms before leaving and was, quote, feeling the effects of the alcohol. Kennedy and another detective asked Paul how he ended up with Kristen that night. Paul said that he wasn't sure, but he said that he and a girl that went by the name of Roxy left the party at the same time. While they walked together, Paul said Roxy was, quote, fine and walking on her own. Paul said he gave her two hugs because she was cold, but says he doesn't remember what they talked about. Later in the interview with Detective Kennedy, he said that he did not put his arm around her or help her in a physical nature. During the interview, Kennedy noticed Paul had scabs on his knee and a black eye and asked him about it. Paul said he got the black eye playing basketball with his friend Jeremy and two other guys. Paul also added that his friend Javier saw him on Saturday without a black eye. Throughout the interview, Kennedy is heard asking Paul several times whether everything he was saying was the truth. Paul responded each time that he was. And court proceedings are set to continue Thursday morning here in Monterey County Court, but Paul's jury and alternates will be the only ones present. Ruben's jury has the day off. Reporting in Salinas, Neil Aber, KSBY News. Ruben's attorney Harold Lisa questioned Kennedy regarding calls received of possible sightings of Kristen Smart in the months following her disappearance. Kennedy said that none of the calls turned out to be credible. To catch up on the trial, you can scan this QR code by opening up your phone's camera and pointing it at the screen. The link will take you to the Kristen Smart case section of our webpage, which has everything you need to know about the investigation, including more testimony that took place this afternoon from former Cal Poly police officer Robert Cudworth.